Now to breaking news out of Fort Lauderdale, where there's just been a traffic mess today. That's right, crews working to fix a gas leak there along a busy road. The local TNT and Margot is live now with the latest on this developing story. Ian. Calvin, Lori, the good news is that leak has been capped and stopped, but you can see here behind me there is still a lot of work going on because really they dug straight into this sidewalk. There's a big gaping hole just beyond that truck, but what you can see there behind that truck the road is back open. Very good news for the businesses here who tell me they have lost thousands of dollars today. After a construction crew hit a gas pipe on Wednesday, firefighters spent hours working to contain the leak. At around 12, 12, 15, the fire department came in and told us that we have to shut down because there's a gas leak, so we had to evacuate the building. J.P. Wilson, general manager of the Dutch Pot Jamaican restaurant, says that's the very beginning of their lunch rush. The drive through will be wrapped around Inside would be full. I had to send them all my staff because there's nothing to do. So we we're losing a lot of money today because of this. It took crews nearly five hours to finish their work. And Fort Lauderdale Fire Rescue Battalion Chief Stephen Golan says that's because it took them a while to actually find the leak because of how the construction crew was working. This is directional boring, so they're, they're feeding underneath a bunch of different obstacles, such as the sidewalk and road and trees. So we don't ever know exactly where the, the break is. Once they did find it, they capped it and finally allowed people back into their businesses. And you know what was really cool actually about this, even though these restaurants were not able to be open and serve customers, whatever food they did have cooked, they actually gave it to the firefighters. So the firefighters got lunch from KFC. They also they were uh, offered dinner from the Jamaican restaurant next door. They actually had to go home. But again, the good news here, the roads back open, traffic flowing smoothly at this point. We're live in Fort Lauderdale, Ian Margle, Local 10 News. And